I did spend some time last weekend in Jackson, Mississippi, and I'm I I left there so excited. Not I just can't wait to put all the things into place that I learned when I was there. I was one of the speakers, so it was that happens a lot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> For well, sure. I mean, seriously, when, ne when never you're the smartest person in the room, when, when you're in a group full of <laughs> like-minded people, you learn just as much as you give. Yeah, it's it's amazing. It's amazing what everybody, what everybody was so free to share, and it's not just the speakers that that shared incredible information. The people that were in the audience are only about twenty there because it was a small venue, but they were all short-term rental people and what they were sharing too, it was just absolutely amazing. I, I'm just, I'm, I'm always blown away by the automations that are out there and, and, you know, just the little things, handwritten cards, things that they do to make their homes even more, even stand out even yeah. more. So um, it was just absolutely, absolutely incredible. So we recorded it and the, the intention was to have 10 hours of recorded videos um, but actually it turned out to be about, I don't know, 13, 14. So we, everybody did two sessions, each speaker, each of the five speakers did two sessions. Um, but there, we also did panels, you know, short term. What are you laughing at? Because most of the people that you, you do these things with are long winded. So there's no way they can cut it down. To <laughs> well, I hate to admit this, but, but my two sessions were the longest of all of them. <laughs> But we, we covered financing. I mean, one of them's a, an hour and, um, well, uh, uh, yeah, an hour and six minutes. No, it was, it was uh, actually, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was an hour and six minutes. Anyway, um, but the, the, we talked about financing. I mean, I gave names of, of companies that are now doing short-term rental um, financing and talked about what it takes to qualify, whether you're doing um, short, short-term rental or long, short-term rental. Um, financing. So, and that's just a little bit, um, the stuff that was in there was just incredible from, from all these folks. We got to see unique stuff like yurts and glamping and um, dome tents, you know, yurts are actually the number one requested item when people go to book an Airbnb. That's number one requested. Okay. Um, uh, yurts were number one. Dome tents was, was number two. Tree houses was one of the top ones too. And there's a lot of tree houses out there and then tiny houses were like number 10. I thought it would have been higher on there. I think they're kind of losing their <clears throat> uh, original appeal. Um, I don't know. I don't know. They're still pretty popular. A lot of people are looking at them to live in now, but for a different purpose. Um, not, you know, the millennials or the, I should say just under millennials thinking it's really cool to get on and drive around, but people really like the small size. So one of the things that I really love that I walked away with that is, you know, uh, you and I have recently purchased some property in Florida on a canal in Inglewood, Florida, um, a trouse, I like to call it half trailer, half house, <laughs> it's, but it's nice. It's really nice. So we're putting that on. It's kind of my definition of a tiny house. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It is, but it's really cool. I, I just love it. And, um, so, so we're putting it on short term, short term rentals, but I'm going to, not rent it for anything less than 30 days. And the one thing, here's a nugget that I just love from Al Williamson, which is um, one of the, he's just a guru in short-term rentals, especially the 30, 60, 90 days. He said, you know, if you put your house <clears throat> on short-term rental platforms, you make it so they can't rent it for less than 30 days. And then you've eliminated a whole bunch of competition because with people who are looking for 30, 60, 90 days, they push that button for 30, 60, 90 days. Right. And all that pops up are the people that are doing the long-term right. rent. So you've really at the long-term short-term rent. <laughs> so you've really eliminated a whole lot of competition by doing that. And I thought, gosh, you know, that's what we want in that Florida property anyway. Well, selfishly <clears throat> that eliminates the extra week I can sneak down there. Well, <laughs> well, that's the other thing that's so cool. So say somebody rents something for 30 days and then there's a week before somebody rents something for 60 days. So there's another company that will come in called rented.com, R-E-N-T-E-D, rented.com, that will come in and look at all those gaps. They'll do it for the short, shorter term stuff too, but they'll look at all those gaps and they'll get them full filled for that, for that portion. I, I was talking about me filling it. I know, it I, know. <laughs> I know, but I'd rather us make the money. <laughs> 
your happiness that, that is too. unimportant. Sleep on your boat. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it was just like nugget after nugget after nugget that um, came out of that. It was just so incredible. So if you would like to buy that because it is available for sale, you can go to sweet. No. Yeah. Sweet short term rentals.com. There it is. It's on the screen there. Sweet short term rentals.com. That'll take you right to the order page. It's $197. You'll get all the videos recording that we did. And then there's some, um, there are also some, uh, PDFs that have built in uh, links. links to different um, companies that everybody was talking about. That was really good. So uh, like rented.com and all these other, other companies that we talked about that were so awesome. It was really, really uh, good. Companies that provide software and stuff like that. Software, uh, any kind of services. It's, it's really, really cool. Excellent. Yeah. I, I think the, the main thing people worry so much about with a short term rental is making sure they have a cleaning <laughs> crew and a handyman. Um, not so much the lawn maintenance and stuff. Right. You can easily find those. Right. It's the, you know, the handyman, the fixed stuff. Yeah. And then the cleaning crew. Yeah. Handymen are a little bit easier to find. It's the, it's the good cleaning crew. That's the toughest thing. You kiss a lot of frogs to get to the right person. But once you do, and, and then there are a lot of people who know other people in their towns that have short term rentals. So we share cleaning. And see, that's part of the, it's part of the thing too, is when you're looking for a good cleaning crew, uh, you want to be able to have them devoted, not just to you, but that be their only job. Right. And keep if, them they busy, if they don't have enough to do, then that's, right. that's not going to be their only job. So it's helpful to, for you to share them. To bring other people mm -hmm. in that can use them for the mm -hmm. same thing. So, and help them build their business. Right. And, and, and so we get back to that uh, attitude of abundance. That's right. Scarcity. That's right. And, what you're looking for in a cleaning crew is someone that that is part of this organization that is a critical thinker yeah that can walk through the house and say oh there's a plate missing it yeah must have broken yeah we need to replace that there's you know getting you know, low on sheets getting low on pillows getting low on towels because after right. you've had it for a year you know you start missing wine glasses and no, things like that and and it's up to your cleaner to be able to pick that out yeah it's not a big deal it's just you need you want to make sure that your guests have That's right. what they need. That's right. It's not costing you that much when you're losing a little bit of this, but you need to make sure you have those. That's right. Proper supplies. Exactly. Exactly. Right. And that's, uh, we've got one and I love her and I'm and not telling anybody would... who she is. <laughs> <laughs> and the other thing with the handyman part mm -hmm. is that you need to go ahead and schedule that handyman to come in and, change filters and that kind of stuff right. on a regular basis. So that person can, can get in and look around and make sure there's no other issues that need to be that's taken right. care of. It. That's right. right. That's all, that's all part of it. it and it's really, uh, that's another thing that I love so much about what we learned is we talked about all these things and, um, and, and talked about ways of keeping up with that, whether you have one property or whether you have 20 properties, right. it's, it's really, it was awesome. 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 Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. And I know you guys will enjoy the videos and get a lot of useful content out of them.